Okay, in this lecture we're going to learn how to create our subheadings and then create our list of materials and sort it alphabetically using a quick sort feature in Excel. So first we're going to go to our second row here and enter in our subheadings. So we have materials, quantity, costs, and the total. And to move across the page like this, I just hit the tab after each word that I enter. And I can hit enter and it'll drop me back down to the next line. And I'm going to start entering in my list of materials. So I will type cabinet handles per unit. And to save time so you don't get bored during this lecture, I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste these so you don't have to watch me type them all in. Okay, so there we have our list. And you can see it's all kind of blending together now. So what we'll do is we'll go and format our subheadings a little bit here. And I'm going to make these bold. I'm going to increase the font a tiny bit. And I'm going to put a subtle color behind them just to make them stand out. And then I'm going to give them some more room. If you hover your cursor on the line between two columns and double click on it, it will automatically expand that column to fit the largest block of text. So if I click on these, it's just going to fit it right to these headlines. Okay, but I, I wouldn't really want that because I, I want these to have a little more space. Another way that you can adjust column width quickly is by highlighting all of the columns you want to adjust, and then you can grab one and stretch it and it will adjust the width of all the columns at the same time. That doesn't always work exactly how you want it to. The more common way for me is to just highlight one column, double click on it, and have it auto adjust. And of course if you want more space or less space then you can just manually adjust them. Part of it's visual, what looks good in your spreadsheet, and part of it is functional. You, you just have to have all the information fitting in there. But once we've got our subheadings formatted here, we can go down and we're going to highlight this list. And you'll notice these are not in alphabetical order. So just to make it easier to read, we're going to alphabetize these. And the way we do that is we go up here to Sort and Filter. And we just click on that and it gives us some pretty straightforward options and the first one here is sort A to Z. So we just click on that and it says it found additional data next to our section and it's asking if we want to alphabetize the surrounding data but we just want to go with what we've selected so I'm going to click continue with current selection and click sort and then when you take a look at it, you'll see now it is alphabetized from A to Z. So that's how you create subheadings and adjust your column width. And that's also how you enter a list of materials and sort it alphabetically so it's easy to read.